The resignation of the Washington Post editor-in-chief uh, is causing quite a stir. He resigned over the censorship that was exercised by the Washington Post owner, publisher, Jeff Bezos, who uh, vetoed them uh, publishing an editorial supporting Kamala Harris for president. Bezos, of course, is worried that um, that if Trump gets elected, that he will crack down on the Washington Post. Here is part of an interview that CNN did with the former editor um, of the Washington Post. And in this part, the CNN question is aimed at justifying the fact that they have regular uh, propagandists, liars for the Republican Party, uh, giving opinions on CNN. It's one question I wanted to ask you, Robert, as you, as you think through this, and that is in the sense of, you know, we live in this world that's just so polarized and so fractured and so angry. And is there anything, and I'm not saying this is the argument they're making, but is there anything to be said for if well-known, established, venerated institutions like the Washington Post or the Los Angeles Times, and the New York Times is not yet endorsed. I don't know what, what will happen there. Um, but that if they, if they don't endorse, that maybe in the future, in a world where half of this country is going to vote for Donald Trump and half of this country is going to vote for Kamala Harris, that there might be a future for, the, for, for an institution like the Washington Post to reach both sides, as opposed to be seen, being seen as only a liberal, more democratic newspaper. This is CNN is, is there anything justifying for you intellectually in its that? role in having Republican liars. No, because, uh, you know, everybody knows or should know that the editorial page of every newspaper is separate from the news coverage. I don't think the Washington Post thinks it, it's, it acts like a liberal newspaper. I know people who are critical of the Post may think that, but it isn't. It, it's trying to deliver the news. The editorial page has a different function. The editorial page uh, presents opinions on a lot of issues. They tell Americans what they think about all kinds of things uh, that Americans should be doing. And, and no one has ever thought that somehow that gets in the way of the Washington Post doing its job as a news organization. So, yeah. you know, everybody can come up with all kinds of reasons why they're doing this. But, but I, I think we should just see clearly that this is the beginning uh, of how Trump is going to control the media, especially that media that is controlled by corporate interests, because all of corporate America has been now bending uh, the knee to Trump. We saw Jamie Dimon do this uh, back in January at Davos, where he decided to say out of the blue that Trump is right about some things. Corporate uh, uh, leaders want to make sure that they're not at odds with a president who does threaten them yeah. Uh, if they behave badly. All right, She's so just a couple things him, to understand to where we it. are, because I think a lot of people want to know.